This is the next episode of my XR Weekly News. We are in week 46, 2025. So a Christmas market is ready 70%. So it's very close to a start. <laughs> and this week was, of course, all about Steam Frame. Steam Frame, everybody, it's a lot of chaos. People saying, oh, I'm disappointed. The others say, oh, it's good. And uh, others say, oh, finally, I can go away from Meta and all these things. There was a chaos. It was really interesting to see that. But uh, yeah, um, so... Uh, Guys, I must be really honest with you. I'm sorry for that, but I'm so happy that it's not released this year. <laughs> I, I was so happy that I couldn't order it and not because like I have millions of videos to create, millions of reviews. And if then also the Steam frame would be here, it, I would die. I think I would die. I would just fall to death <laughs> and and. Oh, I'm so happy that it comes next year. I'm sorry for you, of course, that you can't buy it right now. But for me, it's it's really good. Sorry for that. Yeah, sorry, sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so everything about XR hardware games releases and sales. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go. Voodoo.de. Yeah, guys, and of course, the most important thing is steam frame yeah this device here and um yeah this is this is insane because uh i mean we expected that it will be released but not in this like in this headset yeah um so many people, as, uh, especially for my, my German community, they, they are disappointed because they expected like a high-end headset. And uh, I expected that, to be honest, as well. Um, at least something between a Quest 3 and a Pimax headset. But now it's, it's very similar to a Quest, so it's a beginner headset. I mean, it has some uh, better technical, technical, technical specifications. Oh my god. <laughs> and... Um, for example, the processor is better than Quest, but then on the other side, we don't have mixed reality, which is better on Quest. So yeah, it, it's, it's very similar. Yeah, and um, yeah, ergonomics, we have 440 grams, which is really good. The battery is on the back and so on. We have a 2160 by 2160 LC display, which is not so good. Yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty old. The Quest 3 has it. Uh, and uh, up to 120 hertz, 144 uh, experimental, pancake lenses, 110 degrees uh, horizontal uh, field of view, <clears throat> and things. Um, yeah, we have a foveated streaming, which is really cool. Um, this, the Quest doesn't have that. Um, that means you can save bit rate because. Um, depending on the eye tracking where you look, only there you get the full bitrate streamed to your PC, and the other parts are um, like um, lower resolution and lower bitrate, which is really cool. We can have a better um, vision then because we save uh, bitrate then. We have a wireless USB adapter, so we can have a direct connection to a PC without a router. That's pretty good for some. And um, <clears throat> standalone, so uh, it's Linux based, and we also have the ability to play Steam VR games uh, standalone. But uh, we don't know, of course, not all games. But uh, hopefully, they will do some magic and make make it happen that we can play Half-Life: Alyx standalone. Hardware specifications: We have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This is better than Quest, for example. 60 gigabyte of RAM, 256 gigabyte or one terabyte of storage, including micro SD card slot. That's really cool. And um, yeah, it's a higher uh, performance than Quest. And but the, as I said, the pass through is only only monochromous and uh, it has no colors. Yeah. We have, but we have an extension port. Perhaps later we will have some uh, other, yeah, accessories here. The Steam Frame Controller, you can see them here on the picture. They are really uh, different because we have the four buttons on one controller. Normal, normally we have A, B, and X, Y, but it's only on one side here. So this is, uh, yeah, you have to get used to that, but hopefully we can uh, get used to that. Uh, and then, of, of course, everything is compatible with the new Steam machines and uh, and all that stuff. 
uh, the price is the most important thing. Uh, Velf says it's lower than $1,000, but uh, 999 is also lower than 1000 and this would be much too expensive for what we get. So in my opinion, the absolute maximum would be 800 and still then it would be too expensive compared to the Quest. But yeah, we will see. I'm looking forward to that. So make sure to subscribe and then you can... Uh, can check this out. By the way, this is my uh, homepage here, what you can see. Yeah, you, you have all the links here to my social media. Um, this is my German channel, this is my English channel. Uh, the the webpage is on German, you have to translate it, but as you can see, Google uh, Chrome is doing that really good. And for example, here you can get uh, coupons and sales. You can just uh, go here and uh, then you can uh, check out the current sales and uh, you can type for example Pimax and then you get all the links here pretty cool so uh, yeah I will do a separate video about this uh, but yeah steam frame is really really nice okay guys and here's another news from Valve this is really really interesting so Valve opens their steam OS system to third-party headsets so we don't know when and what and so on but they said they are happy to chat with other companies about shipping it on their VR headsets which is really cool so um, for all the people that are disappointed with the steam uh, frame perhaps we will have a high-end headset that also supports SteamOS where we can do the same. That's really cool. Uh, I think they, they saw that uh, at Meta because Meta will also um, get the Horizon Store to, to other headsets. So the question is who is first? <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that but uh, we don't know more about this. So unfortunately the, uh, another bad news for people that expected to have a release title with a steam frame so i also expected that perhaps there would be half-life elix 2 or half-life 3 or so but steam confer uh, well confirmed that they are not working on a first party vr game um unfortunately so we are now disappointed right but uh, early 2026 there will be no um vr game especially for the Steam frame, unfortunately. They will focus on the exi existing uh, Steam library and you can play all the games, they will, opt they will optimize the existing games and so on. But no new game, unfortunately. So finally, I reported about this several weeks ago that the PlayStation VR 2 controllers will be available separately um, besides the PlayStation VR 2 for the Apple Vision Pro. And now they are selling that in the Apple stores for $250. That's pretty cool, right? Um, there, I have no idea when it's available outside of the US. In the US you can buy it, but I'm pretty sure that it will be also available in Europe. Uh, for example, here in Germany we can get the PlayStation VR 2, the Apple Vision Pro, so it makes sense that it will be out um, in, in a few weeks here as well. And uh, the cool thing is, for the people that have the PlayStation VR 2 and want replacement controllers, they can now, now go to the Apple Store and then buy them. This is insane, right? But a uh, cool idea. So here we have a really interesting program from Pimax. So they want to open the Crystal Super for a developer program. It's called Super Open. And this is really cool. They also made a video about this. This video is, is I don't know. I mean, they used AI to, 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 to produce this video. Uh, I mean, I can understand it a little bit because uh, Robin, the CEO of Pimax, cannot speak English so good, even worse than me. Uh, so. Perhaps it makes sense to use AI then, but still, please, please don't always use AI for everything. <laughs> please, <laughs> it's, it's not like human anymore. Uh, but it, this is another topic. So what are they doing? So they are opening the system. Yeah, we can, we get access to API and all the core and, and things. Look at this here, modular sensor, uh, API access, developer files, CAD models, open MR ID with priority support. Really cool. Yeah, so that uh, is a nice idea. Perhaps somebody can develop uh, really good things uh, or uh, perhaps even accessories and, and, and stuff. And... Um, how does it work? So if, if you um, buy the headset, then um, at the checkout, you just enter the code super open. And then you can, you will get 
an email with SDK and HDK download links and all that stuff. And uh, this is really cool. And you can also combine it with, for example, my coupon code uh, to save a little bit. That's really good. Yeah, so nice idea by Pimax. Really love it. Yeah, guys, and then we had a VR Games Showcase. So let's go through the um, games shortly. We have a full Steam Undead. This is a, a this, this player here. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is a, another zombie shooter. I don't think we need that, but yeah. <laughs> it will be released uh, in spring 2026 on Quest and Steam. And then we have Men in Black, yeah, most wanted. So we have to find alien activities. <laughs> and this is uh, going to be available on MetaQuest on December 5. Uh, and then we have, you've already seen my video perhaps, Siberia. This is a remake of the original point and click adventure. And this is out on Quest 3 and Quest 3S. It's really cool. Check out my video. Uh, and then The Light Keepers. This is a co-op survival game um, where uh, we don't know so much. We have to solve puzzles and explore mysterious islands and so on. And this uh, will, will come out uh, on... Um, Meta Quest, I think um, uh, next year, right? Yes, next year on Quest 3 and Quest 3S. And then we have um, Aspire Mixed Reality Missions, which is really cool. We can uh, solve missions in a real room or in a real garden. I really want to try it out. It comes on Quest on December 16. And then I already reported about this. Um, Ready or not gets a PC VR mod now. Yeah, so. Uh, if you see the video, it should be already released. It's a free um, update uh, for the base game and the DLC. So this is uh, amazing. And then now a lush foil photography, um, the simulator, uh, gets now VR support on PC VR on December 5. Then we have Knights of Fiona. This is an uh, yeah, uh, RPG, yeah, RPG game. Interesting. This will be released on uh, next year, I think. Yeah, next year, um, 2026 on SteamVR and MetaQuest. And then we have a really interesting game. This is like Minecraft in mixed reality, Pocket Lens. Looks pretty beautiful. <laughs> Relaxing game, right? And this will come on December 11th on MetaQuest. And then we have Vampire Survivors. I already showed that on my channel. This is a remake of the Flat game. The uh, roguelite game, uh, really interesting. I, I love this game. I showed that, and you can play it on Meta Quest. And then we have uh, also Glass Breakers: Champions of Moss. This is a um, board game, a strategy game where you have the characters and fight against the enemies. I already tried that a little bit. Uh, I, I think I didn't make a video yet, but it's also really nice, and you can play it. I think on Steam Quest and also Apple Vision Pro. Should also be on Galaxy XR, I think, uh, later. And uh, this is also a really nice game. Yeah, this were the uh, games from the VR Games Showcase. Yeah, and this week in the community spotlight, congratulations, KR8A8, OG Gaming, Lou, Black Sheep, Gene, and Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. <laughs> so thank you so much for participating, participating in the community. You helped me a lot. Yeah, that's very important also for YouTube uh, when they see oh, uh, that they are getting a lot of comments. This video is interesting. I will push it and so on. So thank you so much. This is very, very appreciated. Yeah, and the weekly survey. Uh, let's check out the results of the last one. And this is, uh, I ask you, which company do you think is currently innovating the most in the XR space? And the the result is absolutely clear, even more clear than on my German channel. We said at 63% Meta. Yes, I think I can confirm that Meta is doing a lot. Yeah, they are really focusing on, on, on all that stuff. But now they are going into uh, smart glasses. So perhaps this could be uh, uh, yeah, a thing where people next time say uh, perhaps Google or Samsung. And... Um, yeah, Apple is on last place, even on my German channel. Google and Samsung are um, interesting right now. What did the people say? Valve? <laughs> yeah, the Steam frame is not yeah, very uh, innovative, to be honest, right? I don't know. Perhaps the, the, the Steam uh, foveated streaming or so, but yeah. 
Oh, thanks, Eric, for your comment. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. And uh, Apple, Meta. Yeah, Pimax. <laughs> yeah, guys, this was a last week's survey. And this week, we have a um, um, survey. Uh, this is already active. Some people already answered. But I want to have more, more votes uh, for this. So I ask you, what price do you want to spend for the Steam frame compared to the Quest 3. So the Quest 3 is $500. Would you pay the same price for Steam frame, $500? Would you pay up to $800? Or would you pay up to $1,000? Or are you even so disappointed and you wouldn't uh, buy Steam frame at all? Please answer that. Give me a vote. Uh, the link is in the description for this week's survey. And let's check out the releases this week. On uh, MetaQuest, as always, you get 10% um, discount with my coupon code Voodoo.de. Vampire Survivors, I showed that on my channel. Really nice VR edition of the game. Then we have Siberia. This is a really nice adventure game. I already showed that Glassbreakers also is a nice uh, board game, strategy game. Tracked um, Shoot to Survive is yeah, a survival game, of course. Hotel Infinite. Uh, Infinity is a puzzle game, abstract environments. And then on Steam we have Easy Running, this is a VR sports game. We have Requisition VR Hunt and Extract, this is a VR extraction shooter, zombie shooter. Unloop, this is a self cooperative time loop game where you have to help yourself with some puzzles, really interesting. And on PlayStation we had, uh, 2 we have Luminous Rise, this is a puzzle game from the makers of Tetris Effect. Then we also have Audio Trap, Trip finally on the PlayStation VR 2, uh, <laughs> Animal Anatomy VR, the name says it all. And then also we have Hotel Infinity. By the way, Guys, do not wonder if there are, are some other games released that I didn't show in the news because I record this news always uh, Friday and all the games released from Friday noon German time until you see the video will be in the next weekly news. Yeah, So don't wonder about that. <laughs> and let's check out the sales. So on uh, Meta, the, the sales only go like 24 hours and it doesn't make sense that I'd show it to you now. So um, we have on Steam, we have a Lucky Stay, really nice jump and run. We have 70% off Boiling Steel, a nice first person ego shooter, uh, single player 50%. On the PlayStation VR 2, Vertigo 2, really nice action adventure, 70% Ragnarok music rhythm game, 70% Green Heavy R survival game, 50% and most really nice uh, jump and run platformer adventure, 50% off. So guys, this were the weekly news. Please go in the description and check out my um, survey. Yeah, please uh, take part. And uh, also, if you want to support me, uh, get a cha channel member. You can also find it in the description or all support possibilities on my homepage. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. And see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo